Welcome to Let's All Play. This week's game, as chosen by Prescription Pixel, is Lethal Dose, presented by Donkey Woman. This is a free indie game you can get off of GameJolt.com. I'll put a link in the description. And as described on GameJolt, it is a short film noir inspired game that revolves around an assassin. In this game, you discover her intentions, her past, and what drives her to do her work. Lethal Dose is a deadly mix of 1940s movies, jazz, crime, and a dose of cyanide. And that's what all games need, a dose of cyanide. One thing I find very interesting about this game in general is another line from the description. It says, This game aims to execute the narrative artistically by emphasizing aesthetics and mood instead of the gameplay. So I'm sure some of you like artsy games and some of you do not. This one I love noir stuff, so I love jazz, so we'll see how this goes. I have played this through this before, so this will be our second playthrough. This is the screen you get when it comes up, is arrow keys and space to play, that's all you need. Arrow keys and space, so let's hit uh, space. M. Wells, freelance journalist to event planner. Telephone, whatever. This is kind of a side note, but as someone who designs um, and builds interfaces for a living, I really like this font. I really like this font. I really like how she's incorporated the instructions into the business card text. So, press down. And then we get some lovely jazz music where we're instructed to also press down. And these aren't really quick time events as much as, because they're not quick time, you just, you know, at some point, push the button around. We have a task at our bottom left corner to get to the elevator. So you move your guy around like this. I'm not sure if you can rotate the character. I haven't been able to. But it will show you a task in the corner, and we will have to go do it. With this lovely art style and the smooth jazz playing in the background. That is us. We are an assassin. We are going to this cafe. These aren't, these are mostly just like play settings to tell you what's going on since there's no voice acting in the game to really tell you like where you are. These cards serve that purpose. You are now in this Canmore Cafe. And I assume our target is a latte or a mocha. I would like a mocha. I don't know if it matters. Task. Still a disguise from the staff room. Alright, staff room's over there. Let's go over here and see what we got. Go up here to avoid those guys. Oh, what we got? Got a lock. So these aren't, aren't so much mini games as much as just do what it tells you to, and eventually you'll get it right. Go back and get our mocha. Oh, there's our dose of cyanide, I suppose. Stir that mess in there. Hope this is not for us. Give the coffee to the target individual who is labeled right here. Here, sir, have have some mocha. It's delicious. Remove all evidence from the staff room. Let's go, I don't know, burn our costume? What are we doing? I'm gonna go hide, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, and he's dead. The informant. Lawyer assassinated. Contract complete, we got $400. A man's life was worth $400. That seems very cheap to me, but I don't know much about the assassination business. We have a Polaroid of someone that we're missing, I suppose. On to the next scene. You're invited to a classic cocktail party. We mix, you drink. It's a good, it's a good setup. I like that setup. Four o'clock next Friday, the Mayfire Club, Ustring Street. Kindly show your invitation upon entry. Press down. Oh, we have some chloroform on a rag, it looks like. Oh, hit the button quick. Pound the button and steal this man's invitation. 
and hope it doesn't say Steve on it. You can fail that uh, event. A lot of stuff I'm saying is not quick time events. That one, that one is. There's a couple of those in here, and I failed all of them the first time. I do believe. Get drinks for both you and the target individual. All right, so let us go up to the second floor. Look for a bar. No? Oh, there we go. Just go forward, not sideways. So that is one weakness I would say the game has. Um, it's not always easy to tell where the exits are. Like, we just went to the salad bar and got a gl glass of wine. That's kind of weird. But uh, that's okay. We'll drop whatever that pill is in that wine. Make small talk with the target individual who is right here. Hey, buddy, how, how are you? I don't know what class I want, so I'm gonna take the one to the right, I suppose. And let's hopefully not drink this side and eye laced stuff. Blend in. Let's go check out this lounge singer right by the piano. How you doing? Oh. Random guy died. Aristocat. Aristocrat. Aristocat. That's an old school movie for you. Aristocrat dead. Poison suspected. $800 for that one. That was better. Doubled our money. Oh, was that grand total? Or was that just... I don't know. Anyway. Activist killed inside bar. It's our photograph. And there's a person we are missing. So it seems like the person we are missing was also an assassin and got busted. Oh! And hung themselves? Is that what I just saw? So we're depressed. I'm gonna say we don't shoot ourselves because that's. We're not that depressed. All right, next scene. The most in vogue cocktail party. Everyone is invited. Press down. All right, we're going to a cocktail party. Probably kill somebody, because that's how we do. So what's she doing? Have a drink with a target individual. All right. So here's a place where I realized that the uh, visuals are messed up a little bit. Not messed up, but difficult to understand. Like, that's a stairway. Like, that hole in the wall there. And there's a bar, but I don't see anybody that was a target. So we're going to walk over here so we can get a drink, maybe. No? Maybe not. Okay. Maybe we can make sure you go far enough. Let me go out to the side so we can get, get in on this corner. No? Okay. I forgot exactly how this scene works, if you can't tell. It's going upstairs. Go let us. There we go. Another bar. The drawing room. This is very laid back music for an assassin. Had a drink with a target, I suppose. Having a martini. Oh, we're going to get tipsy now. That's some more. That's right. So our character is probably, I don't know if she can hold her liquor, or she's now quite drunk. Quite drunk assassin does not seem to be the best thing ever. So he's drunk. Dropped a wine bottle. We will take that wine bottle, looks like. Follow the target individual. Now, I don't see a target individual. But I know from exploring before, he went upstairs. There's a pool we can't do anything with. 
Now, also from from before, the target individual is in is that guy on the far right. So we're going here and knock on his door. I don't know why, because you know, announcing yourself and you're an assassin is like a good idea to me. It's night four times. Hey, buddy. Wah! Oh. Oh, we're trying to get strangled. Don't strangle me. Oh, cut his throat. Jump out for stories. Oh, really? Okay. So we're not. <laughs> so we just jumped out of a four story building. Um, and we're walking incredibly slow. I suspect because our ankles are broken. Or are everything's broken? Where's this we going? We're gonna go this way and hope this is correct. Oh, it's so slow, we're like dragging ourselves. Probably maybe because we're walking backwards. No, we go same speed forward. Okay. So I like how the game kicks you from having like music that's like intense in your face and you know, let's go dancing to nothing. No sound effects, no music, very somber. You just jumped out of a four-story building after murdering someone. You know, I mean, that seems like something that... You cut the music off for that. So I like that aesthetic choice. I don't like how slow this is. I mean, I get that, you know, I jumped out of a four-story building and... I'm probably in a lot of pain, but still. Got $600 for it. So that's all good. We killed an ex-politician. Why not a current politician? Who knows? I suspect you get more money for a current politician, though. So, that's a thing. Vanguard Art Expo. The rise of abstract expressionism. Expressionism. Commission Center, December. Okay, press down. So we will smoke our cigar. Not our cigar. Good grief. Smoke our cigarette. I'm not sure I understand the point of this scene. Um, except that you do it way too much. Come on, let's... Yes, yes, puff your cigarette, let's go. There we go. And we are back here in room 126. We will once again get to an elevator. I will once again go down the elevator and go to the ground floor and head off to some... somewhere. Alright, so we are here. And again, I feel like we walked too slow. Our legs are not broken anymore, apparently. I'm not sure what happened. Um, I'm also not sure what happens if you try to hide inside and don't jump out that window. Maybe you get caught. I don't know. But we're going to walk slowly. The roads are... Um, you can't walk past the roads. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, you just walk into those. So it kind of shows you where you're going. Um, this maybe is also a stairway. Like in the inside the um, rooms. On one hand, I like how the background, like, the floor doesn't move, everything above it does. On the other hand, I don't. I don't know. I think I like it. I think I like it. I like, I like this um, artistic choice there. It's certainly different. Hop on the subway and go to this convention center. And I suspect murder somebody. So I can use you know, a bicycle here. Something. Rollerblades. I don't know. A Walkman. Give me some music for this. Again, artistic choice. Not to have music for it, but kind of like some music for it. Alright, so let's go... Not up. So here's the point of the game where I didn't... I'm not happy with this part of the game. Just because it is so slow. And you can't, there's no really good direction on where you're going or why you're going anywhere or what you're doing. I mean, they showed you the convention center, and every other time they just take you to that location. Well, this time they don't. This time they're like, you know what, go this random direction and see what you come up with. Can I get, no. That's all a dead end. So you get to explore, but you can't really do anything. And your character just moves so slowly. They're just like, okay, well, okay, that's, I guess that's something. 
And because you move so slow, you don't explore any of those little side alleys to see if there's anything in them. Because it's going to take you seven years to get where you're going. So we will go over here and maybe eventually find the convention center door. Is this a door or is this just a... Uh, no, that's just a... Uh, interesting looking building. It's the Umbrella Corporation, apparently. Waiting for zombies to attack us now. And we'll go around this, I guess. I believe memory services is the convention center. And yeah, this is way too slow for a game. Alright, this is another scene that's weird. Um, we are near the end of the game. And I'm not sure how polished this piece is because the jumps are strange. It doesn't tell you what to do. So we're just going to walk up. I forgot where to go, honestly. We're going to walk up here, maybe? No. Where do you go? I don't see anywhere to go. Do we talk to people? There we go. Okay, yeah, see that? We just jumped up here because we got near that woman. I don't know why. And we jumped again. So the jumps in this area are really, really weird. The rest of the game's smooth with the jumps, but this area is like... I don't know, it's like she was still drinking those martinis and then came to do her assassination job. And it didn't go well. Where am I going? I'm not sure what the target is or what we're trying to do here. I mean, I assume kill someone. But unlike the other levels where it told us, at least told us you know, the objective, this one doesn't even give you that? Was it here, Cisco? Okay, now I'm lost. What's going on, yo? What is happening? Might have to cut this. Because I'm apparently lost in this room. But because it jumps... There we go. And again, it jumps here. Why here? I don't know. Because you're blackout drunk, I guess. And it jumps again. Which I'm glad I didn't have to walk all that way, but... Okay. And we are in a auction, apparently. With a uh, boat steering wheel up there. Shooting some microphone of some sort. And forget subtle. Forget subtle. We just straight up shoot somebody in the face. Okay. Here you gotta outrun the cop. I played this a good 30 times. Apparently went the wrong way. And if you at any point mess up at all, this is your this is your ending. And the first time you do this, you will mess up right here because you just won't realize what's going on. And by the time you can read Outrun Cop, he will have shot you in the back. So, you know. That's the thing. And if you take any of the wrong paths here, you die. This might be bad. Yep, it's the wrong path. You just gotta memorize it. I don't think there's any clues. So I'm not real fond of this section either. I like the first part of the game. I like the, um, I really like the art. I like the music. I like how it, like, jumps. You've got music sometimes and not other times to, so, like, set mood a little bit. I dig that. I like that your task up in the corners or in the bottom corner, you know, wherever it is, you can see what's going on. I like when it marks your, um, when it marks your target for you in the first couple levels. Then it stops for some whatever odd reason. I don't remember. Um, well, this last couple levels just feel out of touch with the rest of the levels. Ah, oh, that was not it. And, of course, you gotta go back and watch this whole thing. And then you gotta go back and do it again. So we've died, you know, what, three times now? Replay chapter six. This is the last chapter. So once you get through this, we are um, done with it. So I'm kind of giving, you know, wrapping up thoughts now. But I really like where it was going to start with. It's a free little game. I mean, it's, you know, artistically I like it, musically I like it. Um, that your character doesn't turn is strange, but whatever. I mean, the fact that I'm running sideways right now, I mean, that's unusual, but I'm not concerned, honestly. I just spent a couple minutes at the very beginning of playing, trying to figure out what's going on, but that's whatever. It's no big deal. But these last couple levels are just like, oh my goodness, what is happening here? How do I get out of here? 
Are we free yet? Yes, maybe. All right, jump across the front of a train. Cop ain't getting me. And that, I believe, is the end of Lethal Dose. There are six levels up. I'm not sure if this is the uh, full-on conclusion or if they're going to add stuff to us. I assume it's the full conclusion since you know, we decided, hey, we killed whoever we were supposed to be killing. And that made us... I don't know. I don't understand the story very well. I don't understand the story. The story in the middle with the flashback may have had a little bit extra... Um, a little bit extra to it. Because I don't understand if... Did we just avenge that person? Did we just forget that person? I mean, I'm not sure exactly why... We burnt the picture at the end. So that little flashback piece in the middle could use some little help, I think. Um, or maybe I'm just dense. That's a... You know. And this just goes to... Goes, it's a way of doing the credits. I am holding the button down to walk through them. You can't just stop and hang out. You know, this shows who special thanks and who the music, who did the music, and you know, this kind of thing. But I said I like where they're going. I like the, um, I like the aesthetic. I like the music. I like that. For the most part, there aren't um, quick time events. You've got a couple in there that you can lose, and they'll kill you. But they just charge you over. I mean, all the chapters are really short. And they don't always, I think, send you back all to the beginning of the chapter. They just send you back a little bit. So it's pretty cool. So you should go. I said, check this out. Check out the authors. I didn't see if they've got any other stuff up. I suppose I could look real quick. Yes, this developer has two other games up. I am not sure if they are newer or older or what compared to Lethal Dose. But I do have two other ones. You can go play, check this out as well. I'll put it in the description. Go download it, play, comment, share your feelings. Either in the comments here or on Twitter or over on Prescription Pixels video. I'll link that as well. This has been Let's All Play Lethal Dose. I am Miss Lid. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.